Today, I'm looking at all the new updates in Update 2 of Anime Defenders. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to be showcasing all of the new abilities of the Evoed Muscular Sorcerer. So today, we are going to be looking at the brand new Anime Defenders update. It's like two or three days after it's come out. But I'm choosing to do this update video almost in like reflection to my past couple of days of experiencing this recent update. So one of the first things that they added is this new Blizzard Winds banner. One new secret, two new mythics, one new legend legendary, one epic, and one rare unit. I've seen the new legendary being used. He seems pretty cool. The new cursed archer. The beast sorcerer. I have him. Pretty fun to use, but also a little underwhelming if I'm gonna be honest. And then in terms of the blood demon and the... I don't even know his name. Uh, they're pretty good. They're all right units. And the new Gojo unit is absolutely insane. But following the new banner, we have the new Tower of Eternity game mode, which I'm going to load in to show y'all. As you keep climbing, the amount of gems that they give you increases. As you can see, it's basically this really cool tower that changes its floor placement every single time. It's just an infinite battle of tower defense where you just you just keep having to beat the levels and it's completely solo. A lot of people were having problems with grinding the leaderboards because a lot of the leaderboards for the story mode are made up of like four people groups since getting so far in the infinite modes is really difficult. It's definitely a lot more enjoyable for someone like me who doesn't really play with other people that much. One of the more substantial things that I notice is the complete rework of most of the skins in the game. A lot of the units changed. My secret knight used to be a red secret knight. According to what they said on Discord, it's because they kind of got tipped off that their characters were too similar to the original characters. I, I feel like the characters were already kind of cursed. Next on the update banner is the seasonal leaderboard rewards where they added this, which uh, shows that the individuals who have made their way onto the top 10, top 25, top 50 are going to get some assortment of the slime spirit, a title, trick crystals, and even 20,000 gems. Next, are the two new story mode maps that they added. The first one being Swordsman Dojo. I'm not exactly sure what anime it's referencing because honestly, it could be a lot of different animes, but it's a pretty cool map design. I I actually, I have a lot of fun just flying around it. So that was the Swordsman Dojo, and here we have the Snowy Woods, which also, I'm not exactly sure what the reference is, but it's a pretty cool map, and it'd be interesting to see how far I can make it in the infinite modes for both of them. As we reach the end of Snowy Woods, there's one thing that's really important to note is that they added a play next option, which makes it really easy to queue up the next story mission. Amazing quality of life change and improvement. Over the last three days, I found myself using that a lot. I think before they added it, I just, I remember every single time being like, dude, it should be in the game. Like, this is definitely something that is needed. Next is the new raid map and raid currency. As you can see, they have added this yellow shard, which is used to unlock the new raid mythic. We have entered the curse train. In the first raid, there's actually no flying units, but this one does have a flying unit. So, I have failed at wave 21. I think the new map and the new enemies are pretty interesting. And I still think I could solo it so besides the trading updates there are some rebalances where they buffed quest gems infinite mode gems shop gems uh worthiness they increased the level cap to 70 and the play next button obviously the dark star fruit and for those of you that are interested in the trading aspects of the game they uh have added rap sheets stuff of that nature my secret curse knight 230k rap uh which just means that the average selling price is about 230,000. so this is actually the next day after recording the last segment of the video because I finally have the evolved muscular sorcerer or the enhanced whatnot to finish off the video I just wanted to showcase his abilities and uh, how strong he is so his first move does about 600 I think I have a B plus rating on him so I might have to get that up he's one of the better units according to the wiki when it comes to infinite modes and raids so I really want to end up getting some good traits on him because I think it'd be very beneficial in terms of doing raids alone and whatnot even though it's his fourth upgrade this is the second ability and it's kind of like the first one except it's got a little bit of uh some red static around it you know on upgrade five we get these holes that open up and he shoots like void matter i don't know <laughs> just upgraded him to 4,000 damage with 3.7 seconds he's honestly a really good mythic to have right now very impressive so i have just moved on to upgrade seven i'm not sure if he's still on the exact same ability yeah. So I have just upgraded him to upgrade number nine, and he's it's it seems like his ability is throwing a little rock 
it does 9,000 damage every five seconds. One thing, especially about this muscular sorcerer guy, is that he has really good cooldown. The amount of damage he does, I think he has the shortest cooldowns in the game. I'm on upgrade 11, and I believe this is his final attack in which he does kind of a full AoE dagger spin and just takes out everything surrounding him. I like I like this ability. I think it looks cool. I like the uh, the visual effects they did with it. Now that I finally have him maxed out, he's doing about 10,000 damage every five seconds. Let's compare that to my Cursed Knight, even though that's a secret unit. Yeah, my Cursed Knight still, be still beats a 4.1 to 12,000. But once again, I have an S in damage on my Cursed Knight, and I have a B minus on... So that's not a fair comparison. But having both of them is pretty cool considering their 0.25 chance. I don't even know how I did that. I barely spun. But if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and... Uh, subscribe!